What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. If all goes according to the master plan, you should be watching this on Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas, man. Hopefully you got all the gifts that you asked Santa for. On my wish list this year, the one that was delivered to Santa Claus's workshop, I only asked for one thing. And that was for Santa to bend me over his knee and give me a spanking. Why about that? Because I've been a naughty boy. In the spirit of the holidays, man, sometimes you need a food that's gonna keep you warm. It's getting colder outside. There's snow on the ground. There's been reindeer on the roof. And sometimes the best way to recover from shoveling snow out of your driveway all day is with a big bowl of chili. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna give you guys the perfect recipe. In today's video, we will be making anabolic chili. Thick, creamy, and delicious chili that is so easy to make, anybody watching can do it. If building snowmen and scraping ice off of windshields has you a little colder than usual this holiday season, then look no further than this recipe, because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. And if you got that RJF anabolic cookbook, link down below in my description. It's been updated, man. This recipe's in there along with every other one of the recipes I drop on this channel. Easy, anabolic, eating good, dieting does not have to be a hard process, man. Let that be the ultimate gift this holiday season, man. Figure your diet out, the rest falls into place. This ain't rocket science, people. Love what you do and it never feels like work. You get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. So if you guys are ready to get their epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! So the first thing we're gonna need for this is a cauldron. Basically a big pot, cause this is gonna make a lot of chili. If you don't got a cauldron, check your local listings. There's, there might be some witches in the area that got one for sale. Just make sure you wash it. We'll hit it with nonstick. And I have 112 grams of chopped white onions. Gonna pour those right in. And then all we're gonna do is cook these on like a medium heat until they soften a little bit for about five minutes. And once our onions are done, we're gonna toss in 448 grams of 96% lean ground beef. Come on, let's go. And we'll just break this up and cook it until our beef is browned all the way through. All right, we got the meat and onions looking good. It's browned. No magic was retained in the cauldron we purchased from that witch, so I don't see any frogs. We're in a good spot. Now we're gonna add some seasoning. If you have a chili seasoning packet, you can use that. Or you can use my secret blend. This is three grams of chili powder, three grams of cumin, three grams of garlic powder, three grams of salt, three grams of pepper. Pour it right in, along with 33 grams of tomato paste. And what we'll do is stir this all in, make sure all the meat is seasoned, and let it simmer and cook for about two to three three more minutes. And at this point in the recipe, we should have perfectly seasoned chili meat. We're basically done. We just gotta add a few more things. First thing we're gonna add is 455 grams of canned kidney beans. I drained them off, that way none of that liquid's in there. Pour them right in. Now we want 420 grams of diced tomatoes, which ends up being one full can. And we actually want all the liquid with this one, so I'm just gonna pour it all right in here. Now I'm gonna add 294 grams of beef broth. Bingo. And the final thing we're gonna add is 244 grams of a tomato tomato sauce. If you buy it canned, you're gonna get the better macros, and in my opinion, the better flavor. Now we're just gonna go in and stir everything up, and you might notice it looks a little soupy, but don't you worry, bud. There's still some magic to be had yet. Now what's gonna happen here? We got obviously all of our chili built in our cauldron. We got it back on the stove. I got it set to high heat. What we wanna do is bring it to a boil, right? Kinda keep stirring it while that's happening. Once it hits a boil, we're gonna drop the heat to like a medium low. And we're gonna let it sit here and simmer for about 20 or 25 minutes. That's gonna thicken it up and give it the consistency that we want, man. We're gonna have some chili. So I'm gonna let her do its thing and I'll see you guys here when she thickens up. Let's go. Now after letting her simmer for about 20, she has reached the consistency we want, man. You don't want watery chili, you want thick, meaty, beard growing chili. You wanna make a batch of chili so thick that a bear in the woods would see it and go, wow, that's chili. And we got a massive cauldron, so there's no way I'm eat the whole thing. So I'ma portion it into a bowl. Hey, look at that chili. Ain't nothing warms that heart better than some classic chili. I can hear all the dogs in the neighborhood going crazy right now over this classic chili. My neighbor 
neighbor's wife's gonna come over here to see what this smell is all about because she knows it's classic chili. We're gonna put a little bit more on the top because that's just what you do with classic chili. And now all that's left to do is put a little fat-free cheddar on top of our classic chili. Perfection. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you anabolic classic chili. Chili. Perfect to make a big batch of meal prep, reheat for later, or just make an entire dinner for you and your family or you and the boys. Or the ladies. You can get crazy with your toppings too. Feel free to add some green onion on there, some more cheese. Maybe you want some sour cream. Do whatever your heart desires. But at the base of all of it, you know that you got yourself some classic chili. If you made it this far in the video, smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below. It all helps the algorithm them and as you guys know I think it's time to pull up a chair strap on the old feed bag and try this thing together you guys ready let's go all right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go. In case you haven't noticed this video, I'm a little stuffed up. I'm a little under the weather. So I'm hoping we can solve this with a little bit of classic chili. And the only medicine I need, that final boss pre-baby, puts a wind back in them sails. My hair back on that chest. Come on. <clears throat> Chew it like a man. Woo. Available at finalbossformance.com. Code RGF10 saves you 10, baby. All right, let's hop in here on this chili. Chili. All right, let me get down in here. Get a nice solid bite. Let's get a little bit of that cheese, that thick chili. Oh, my. Start with that right there, bud. We're eating chili with a fork here because it's that thick. If you got to drink your chili, that ain't chili. Three, two, one, let go. Mmm, this type of chili makes me want to do the Macarena. Oh, Macarena, Macarena, Macarena. It's that good. Filling it this high might have been a mistake if we weren't trying to make a mess, but God don't make no mistakes. Mmm, oh my God, it's classic chili. Anabolic chili is the type of food you eat before going to meet your girlfriend. Right after since that, we need to talk text. You gotta eat this chili before that conversation. It's bound to go in your favor. Really just gets the pheromones going. There's a musk in the air in here. I can't describe it. Logan's in the corner doing flips. For what reason, I don't know, but he smells the pheromones. I've had so much cough syrup, I feel a little goofy, but this chili bringing me back to life. Oh my goodness. This ends up being quite bad chili. Why chili? I mean, it's cold outside, but I'm starting to feel warm. Best part about this recipe is I put this bowl. There's still probably enough for like five or six more bowls. And uh, I'm just, I'm already like getting full because there's a lot of fiber in this, a lot of chili. But the combination of flavors here, man, the way that we did it, the spices, the meat, the sauces, the tomatoes, the tomato paste, the order of operations in which we cooked it. This is just marvelous. Look at that cheese pool, bud. Oh, serious, no. This recipe is incredible. You got me. Make it. You gotta try it. Make a big old batch. Tag me on the gram. I just, I mean, it's chili, but it's chilly. If you serve this to someone and didn't tell them it was healthier, the anabolic high protein version, they have no idea, bud. They'd be like, that's some good chili. By chance, is that classic chili? You can go, yeah, that's classic chili, all right. And then we'll just keep it a secret between us that you're doing them some good. Mm. So in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it with all my measurements, what you end up with is for the whole recipe, 1178 calories, only 18 grams of fat, 130 grams of protein, 124 grams of carbs, 32 grams of fiber. Holy cow, man, for a big thing of chili. Think about that. There's enough for multiple bowls in this recipe, man. It's a very filling food, lots of protein, lots of fiber, it's dense. It's gonna leave you all warm inside. You're gonna, you're gonna feel like a million buckaroos and you didn't overeat on your calories. You got a lot of protein in your gonna be more anabolic. The old lady's gonna want a piece of you later. There's a lot of benefits to eating a big bowl of chili. Classic chili. Mm. But don't take my word for it, man. Get in there, give this one a shot. Cause I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. They're gonna love it, man. I'm, I'm half sick, I'm high on cough sir. I'm eating classic chili, but the truth remains the same. You make this, I know you're gonna love it, man. It's Christmas. It's freaking Christmas I'm making this video. It's Christmas, bud. Make it for me, that's my gift on this wonderful Christmas. Make some classic chili. And you already know, man, RJF Anabolic Cookbook, all my recipes are in here, every ingredient, every description, everything you gotta do to make this type of magic happen in your home. Be the big man or woman this holiday season. Make dinner for the family, right? We're all stuck on these phones. We don't sit around a table and eat together. We don't enjoy good food. We wonder why the nation has a problem with its weight when we all just get a separate fast food bag and go into a different room and get sucked into these things. It's not good, I tell you. Bring dinner back to the family. What's that? Bring dinner back to the family. Get everybody together, make them a meal, do them some good, and you won't 
won't regret it. You get it once, you get every future SBI app for free. Dang. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Comment anything down below. That algorithm needs it. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Get more of that. Mm. Classic chili.